make some noise for your fast Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Gary check in for the comes in for John Stockton. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little over three and a half minutes gone by. Spurs working the ball around now. Six to shoot. Griffin and Ewing with the block. They recover it. From deep three-point range, San Antonio again missing. Drexler throws it down home. How about the explosive <laughs> vertical there? Not much you can do to stop Drexler once he gets to the rim. Robertson dishes to Walton. Kicks it out to Robertson. Back to Walton. And Walton throws it down. Fundamentals, guys, using the one-hand slam. Really makes the basics look pretty exceptional. Now the pass to Hill. And it's hard away with the jam. And if you want athletic ability, this can look no further. Hardaway with a stylish jam. Here's Walton. And no good. So the 90s team will take it the other way. Here's Drexler. And finished off by Drexler. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Inside, here's Walton, and Walton will throw it down. Saw the angles and led him right to the hoop with that pass. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. Hill looking around. Hardaway finds Ewing. Griffin with some nice D. So it's San Antonio now. Barry, the pass to Griffin. Here's Barry. There's the three. They get the rebound. Feeds to Walton. And another shot. Elijah Wan with the block. Without a doubt, one of the most versatile shot blockers in the game. Elijah Wan does it in the painted area as well as along the perimeter. He'll be around the rim. Defense has always got to know his whereabouts. Here's Hardaway. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Elijah on kicks to Drexler. Tries again. And Elijah on with the basket on the assist by Drexler. Elijah has got the game tied up here for the 90s team. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. I feel like we've seen more slick passing big men in the league today than we've ever seen. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. Ewing is out there with Elijah. Wall. Then there's Hardaway. Then there's Drexler. And it's Hill in at the three. Hardaway finds Ewing. 
Ewing in Jamtown as it goes right over Blake Griffin. And Ewing with that size really creates a tough matchup, especially when he's attacking the offensive board. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Ewing, good! And far from just a score, Hardaway is also adept at finding his teammates. And Griffin slams it in. Oh, fellas, that was a vicious two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. Elijah Wong, no good. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. No one covered. Rick Barry. Now it's a three-point three Spurs lead. And that shooting touch of Barry, one of the best in the game. Silky smooth from just about anywhere on the perimeter. Break they're in a rhythm offensively, really cooking. And the opposition looks helpless to stop them right now. Nobody near Jordan. And again, oh, it's San Antonio with a three. Proving once again, he is one of the best shooters in the league. And it's Hill with the jam. And he just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. George passes to Wade. George against Hill. To the paint, here's Griffin. The shot that time, not on target. Good D by you. A baseline J. Rebound, Julius Irving. Spurs leading by four. Pass to George. Griffin kicks to George. No good on the triple. George has gone two for five tonight. Pass to Hardaway over Irving. And they'll get another chance. Yet another possession they've managed to hold on to. They are really in control on offense. And they're able to recover. Just four to shoot. Offensive rebound. Hill passes to Hardaway. Outside, Ewing. Finds it again. Hardaway, no good. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Drexler right side. And Drexler throws it down. That's just an emphatic throw down there. That one reverberated throughout the building. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. Abdul-Jabbar. And he's provided them with a major mismatch on that low block tonight. That They've been able to lean on his scoring in the paint. And if nothing else has worked, he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession. So San Antonio goes with a fresh five on the floor. And now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. During that break, Greg Popovich really had some strong advice for his team. With this game in the balance, he really came after his guys. He said, this is our time. Right now, be in the moment with each other. Do your job, and I promise you, we'll win this game. Back to you. All right, David, thanks. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Passes it to Eaton. Stockton knocks down the three ball. Stockton. And you can see the trust this team has in Stockton, especially when you need a big basket. And here we go. Fast break. Jordan's got it. Stockton outside. Ball outside. Three-pointer. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. 
so many of the plays they're running designed to create opportunities from deep. With the way they're shooting, there's... Oh, oh my goodness! Man. And that's what you call leadership. Robinson providing it for his team by knocking down a big-time shot. Here's Jordan. It's blocked by Shaq. It's Peyton high post. Some solid D from Paul. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Michael Jordan. First personal foul. First team foul. 90's team on D. Paul kicks to stop them. One oh two left in the fourth quarter. Outside Jordan. Shot clock at five. And Pippen is a rugged defender. Has tremendous length. And that helps him cover a lot. And the officials will call the illegal score right there. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the Time offense, you team. have to blow the whistle. you got to blow the whistle when it's that obvious. Great call there by the official. And the 90s team calls time here. They're trailing by four. 50 seconds left in the fourth. Making a change here. Hardaway's checked in. Robinson left side. He dishes it to Jordan. Hardaway for three. Rebounded by the Spurs. That is not the shot they needed there. You've got to work it around and get a better look. Jordan finds Paul. That drops and it comes Where's off an Paul? assist from Jordan. For three. And the Spurs lead by seven. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat. Adam Pippen. Boy, I, I'll tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the clutch shot. A little John shot Stockton. fake there got the D out of position. Stockton's got the lead back up to seven now for San Antonio. Here's O'Neal. Who's back up? And block. That one goes careening off the glass. Yeah, and beyond the obvious physical skills, Kareem just has a great understanding for the game. Times his move perfectly to get that shot. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. In the modern NBA, you have to hit threes to win That's games. The end and of the they've game. made that adjustment since the break. And so it's like the Spurs with the win. A solid win on the road for them. The this building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. See you next time.